Hello, Gold participants and listeners from around the world. I'm Kristen Schwartz, licensed midwife and MC for Gold Learning. And here at Gold, we are working on a new lecture pack titled Breastfeeding and the Medically Complex Infant. And uh, while we are recording the lecture pack, we like to get together with our speakers and chat a little bit about the upcoming the presentations that they're holding and also about their work in the field as well. And with me today is Alan Lechtenberg. Welcome, Alan. Hi, thank you, Kristen. It is so wonderful to have you here today, and um, this presentation I'm very excited about. I had the pleasure to look through the slides and chat with you a little bit offline here, um, and it just looks fascinating and very interesting, and such a presentation is well needed here, and uh, we're looking forward to it. But before we jump into that, I want you to introduce yourself a little bit to our listeners here. Um, you are an IBCLC and also a dietitian. You work in a hospital. So tell our listeners about your background, your professional journey, and about your daily work. Thank you. So I um, work at Primary Children's Hospital in Salt Lake City, Utah. It's part of Intermountain Healthcare. And I am the lactation manager, and I oversee the clinical lactation staff, and we have a mother's milk center, which I oversee. We do not have any babies born at our hospital, and so all of the children and babies are sick, and they are either premature, have complications from birth, or have become sick. And so we see many challenges, including neurologic conditions, as we go from day to day, working with moms and the breastfeeding dyad and families. Wonderful. That's uh, that sounds like a very uh, interesting field you're working in. And it correct me if I understand this right. You were actually involved in setting up the center there at the hospital, the Mother's Milk Center. Is that correct? Yes, that is correct. Um, we I was able to get funding from our hospital, and we set up our Mother's Milk Center in 2015 which was really exciting. We were able to centralize all of the handling of mother's milk. We were able to hire mother's milk techs who calculate and prepare mother's milk. And that's so important. We have many safety checks in our milk center to make sure that the math is correct, the fortification is correct. Mm -hmm. And we draw the milk up in aliquot, so it makes it so much easier for nursing to focus on taking care of the babies instead of having to worry about fortification of mother's milk. That's wonderful. And I can only imagine, and you mentioned that all the babies that come to you, they're not born there, they're all sick. So human milk becomes a important, so needed, because this very vulnerable population really, you know, benefits from human milk. But B, it becomes also so much more complex, right? I mean, as you just mentioned, fortifying the milk, uh, yeah, having all these safety checks in place. So talk a little bit about that. We in Utah are really lucky that we have a really high initiation of breastfeeding. We have approximately 94 mm. to 96 percent of our mothers initiate pumping here. And so that's really fun. So our job is to help support the breastfeeding dyad, help our moms, help our parents continue on their journey to have success with breastfeeding. And um, one of the ways we do that is by making sure to interact with them, meet with them, provide support in whatever they need, whether it be pumping, breastfeeding support, different devices to help their special needs baby, or through phone calls. We have a phone call program that we initiated last year to provide support for our moms who may not be able to make it to the hospital on a regular basis. Our hospital serves a very large geographic region, all of Utah, mm. some of Idaho, some of Nevada, and a little bit of Wyoming. And so we are able to work with our moms, and we've been able to increase breastfeeding duration through this program. That sounds absolutely wonderful. Uh, what a great work you're doing there. And and you mentioned, so this is very interesting and absolutely fascinating that the um, initiation rates there in your area in Utah are so high. Like, uh, that's that's fantastic. It was wonderful. Um, because I remember a time here, you know, um, when especially babies 
that are vulnerable, that have neurological or other conditions, right? Uh, they are in the NICU and um, all the focus is on all the medical interventions, uh, procedures that have to be done and uh, kind of the feeding part is not, I would say, of course, it's important, you know, they, but it's always like, okay, let's feed the baby, but all the medical interventions are important. And I feel like there's a big shift now that we really understand how important human milk is, correct? That is so correct. The more we learn, the more important mother's milk is, and we also value how perfect it is for each baby. And I love my job because we provide such support for moms to help them along their way in their journey to have breastfeeding success. Mm -hmm. And we were also supported by our physicians, our dietitians, our attendings and nurse practitioners and it does take a team and I feel like lactation consultants are a big piece of that team to ensure success. Absolutely and that's fascinating and I know you're also an educator right you're a speaker you also um, educate other healthcare professionals on the subject as well right? That is correct we do an annual lactation management course it's a three-day course that Intermountain Healthcare offers and our lactation consultant throughout the system present at that and I'm also able to work on patient education mm. and help incorporate policies and protocols and processes for breastfeeding and lactation support. Absolutely wonderful. That's and I also would like to say you are an author, right? You you have um, uh, chapters in textbooks as well. Yes, I'm excited to be able to say that I've been involved with Nutrition Through the Life Cycle. It's a textbook used in colleges through Cengage, and um, that's been really fun to be part of that project. I've um, authored the special conditions and will now take over and work on, be the lead author in both lactation chapters. And so that's really fun and exciting, um, and I love to be able to support breastfeeding and lactation for dietitians so that they can learn more and be advocates for our families. Absolutely. And you are also a dietitian, correct? I am, yes. I got involved in lactation because I was going in to see our moms on my specialty is infant nutrition and I've done a lot with inborn errors of metabolism and the patients in the newborn ICU. And because mother's milk is so important, I had an interest in being able to support our moms at a higher level and that's how I became involved in lactation and then became a board certified lactation consultant in 1996, so almost 25 years ago. Wonderful. That seems like the perfect combination, uh, you know, uh, for, yeah. for your line of work there. Absolutely. Absolutely. And uh, yeah, let's talk about now about the presentation, the neurologic conditions and the breastfed infant. And um, so tell us a little bit about what you're presenting on there. So I picked this chop the topic of neurologic conditions because so many of our babies have challenges um, neurologically and I wanted to be able to educate on what neurologic conditions are, how to help support our families, our parents who have babies with special needs and also breastfeeding management. Many of our moms don't realize when they come to deliver that their baby is going to be a special needs baby and I think understanding the different challenges that they face, how to support them can then help them have success with breastfeeding and providing mother's milk for their baby. Wonderful. Wonderful. Yeah, I can only imagine. I mean, we're talking about uh, babies like, uh, for example, with uh, trisomy 21, um, spina, uh, spina bifida, and uh, and uh, even Zika. Is that correct? That is. Um, I added Zika to the presentation. We I we don't have mm -hmm. much experience here in Utah with congenital Zika syndrome, but I know in other parts of the country that they might experience that or see a baby with with this neurologic condition, and I wanted to include that for people lactation consultants in those areas so that they will be aware of what the syndrome is and how to help support our mm -hmm. parents in lactation. Yeah, and, and and I saw through your presentation of wonderful images there of babies um, breastfeeding and, and, and latching because, uh, you know, um, again, this is probably a few years ago, but uh, when, uh, when mothers were told, a oh, baby in your condition, you know, you need to see that the baby is fed. Don't even, you know, bother with latch and all that. That's just not, you know, we need to get this baby fed. So it is wonderful to see the initiative that, uh, you know, and this whole center that you leading there that is really focused on of course you know the milk but also the bonding the whole experience also of breastfeeding there as well 
Thank you. And as I mentioned, it takes a team and we work very closely with our speech therapist, our occupational therapist, uh, neonatal therapist to help support these moms and babies as well. Mm -hmm. And before I let you go here, uh, what is it, one thing, if you could pick one thing from your presentation or something that you would hope, a little nugget here of wisdom that you would hope our listeners can take away from it? The one nugget I would say is from working with these mothers that it is very important for them that they have provided their breast milk to their babies and the one mom wanted me to say to she said tell the listeners tell the audience I breastfed all of my babies and they all received my milk for the first year of life and her baby was tube fed and never breastfed at the breast and she I think the one nugget is just because they're not at the breast doesn't mean they aren't breastfed infants absolutely wonderful well thank you so much for sharing that and thank you Ellen for sitting down here with me and talking about the wonderful work you're doing and about the presentation thanks Kristen and to our listeners now, the presentation, your Neurologic Conditions and the Breastfed Infant, is a part of the lecture pack titled Breastfeeding in Medically Complex Infants. And this lecture pack is available starting March 30th. And if you want to find more out more about this presentation and the other presentation in the lecture pack, please visit goallearning.com. Thank you, everyone, for listening here today. Have a wonderful day, everyone. Bye-bye.